So like it's, we're a vast majority whole food, healthy household for the most part. We call them ingredient houses, you know, where it's not little Debbie snack cakes, but like maybe you'll get some chocolate chips, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So you can eat handfuls of chocolate chips, but way harder to get those in versus like Debbie, little Debbie cakes. Mm -hmm. Right. So there's still, there's still, we're not, we're not crazy about it, but we definitely limit it as much as possible. And there's a difference in, in hypey behavior would be the thing I would say, probably some focused things, but it's really hard to pinpoint because there's so much else going on, right? You've got the screen time amount. You've got how much exercise are they getting? You've got how much sunlight are they getting? So there's so many other things beyond diet that I think play into this. And then you've got, you know, the whole idea of, you know, where are these things like ADHD coming from and how do they present themselves and how do you deal with those? Is it diet related? You know, is it stress related? You know, is it, uh, you know, that kind of thing? Or is it, is it a trauma response in some way? Is it just a learning disability? You know, your brain's wired weird. So I think there's a lot going on there. I don't, I don't actually know, but there's definitely a very obvious connection with, with foods and even places like Europe have banned certain dyes, especially in children. Red dye has been shown to crack some kids out and things like that. And it's possible. My kids, my kids get cracked out all the time. So I have a question. Could be